Okay, I have uh, started opening up the uh, socket for the front panel and trimmed down this uh, sorry, this guide bit so it's clean. Um, I just used a Dremel and a exacto knife as Americans like to call it, a hobby knife. Um, yeah, let's do the other side. Let's see if I can get this lined up and focus. Yeah, kinda. Mm -hmm. I just use a uh, diamond blade thing. enough I wouldn't be too concerned about leftover bits because it's plastic, so it's not conductive. The only thing you have to watch out for is not letting the Dremel slip, because if you cut a, a lane on the PCB, you're screwed. So, um, let's see. Ta-da! My new front panel connector. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it in all the way. I'm thinking about getting some IDC 10 connectors for the USBs and the uh, Firewire because I really want my card sitting out here and I want my front USB. So I'm trying, gonna try and pick up some IDC 10 connectors tomorrow. Let's see if I can fix that. And apparently. I'm a retard and I don't know how to count. So I got five of these very nice Bitphoenix sleeved black SATA cables, 30 centimeters. Uh, 30 centimeters will get you from here, coiled around, to here. And it can also fit the, uh, well, the intended position for the drives. So 30 centimeters with this motherboard layout is, uh, is okay on this case uh, but as I was saying I don't know how to count so I got five cables and I should have gotten seven so yeah I'm still stuck with two yellow ones I'm not gonna try and sleep them I'm just gonna order some new ones from Case King and then I'll have to open it up once again but that's what you get so um, I might as well open these up while I'm at it and then get some IDC connectors tomorrow. Um, the middle bit on the uh, front panel on the uh, Antec skeleton is one injection molded very solid piece with the USBs and the SATA and the Firewire and the audio. I especially would really like to have the audio connector um, extended because it's really short and when I put it in the first time I actually screwed up 
I used a, uh, a tweezer to try and push it in and I fucked up the uh, connector so and I'm not I'm just gonna ditch the uh, analog AC 97 bit and just go for the HDR to cut the other one off but I don't know it's gonna be a lot of work because there's no way I'm gonna be able to open this up it's welded um, so I'm, if I do this, I'm gonna have to cut the cables really short from the edge, and then solder on some new, and sleeve it, and put on an IDC connector at the other end. Uh, gonna be a lot of work, especially when you get to this. It should be okay. We'll see. These are actually narrower, so hmm, yeah, won't even be able to fit it. Great, um, that sucks. All right, thinking, thinking, still thinking. I uh, couldn't make up my mind, well, I, I decided to just wait and see um, what I could get for the uh, USB connectors and um, hopefully I'll find something that fits, but um, if the only thing I can find is IDC connectors, which as I found out before, are a bit too wide, then uh, I'll simply just trim down the uh, outside and remove the flaps on the inside as well and I should be good to go it doesn't really matter they're not gonna be put under a lot of stress so I um, went over the focus anyway noted down the uh, layout for the front panel so I know what goes where and you wanna make sure you know uh, what is the anode and cathode on the uh, LEDs, that's the only thing that matters. There's no speaker on this case, uh, 
Not that I think... No, that wouldn't matter either. Uh, so, the only thing that matters is the uh, LEDs get uh, the plus and minus right, and uh, yeah, good to go. So I'm gonna start taking apart the uh, connectors, sorry, the uh, switches and the LEDs, uh, remove the old wires, put on some new ones. The uh, IDC connector here takes uh, 26 and 28 AWG wire so gauge or whatever. So the uh, easiest way to get hold of eight strands, eight cords of that is good old network cable. This is uh, 24 AWG and that should be okay. 